Hello guys, welcome to Houdini Made Simple. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to create the color attribute based on a texture. So here we have a character that is emitting some particles. And as you can see, we have no color yet. So the goal is to create some color, the same color we have on the texture. So if we go to the setup, pretty simple, we have a character walking from left to right. And then I create a mask just to blast the form of the character so we can use the pack to emit. And finally, we have the particle cache, some particles trailing the character, and then we set up the P scale. So in order to set up the point uh, color attribute based on the texture, I want to go right after the subdivide. And I'm going to create an attribute from map node. I'm going to connect this after the subdivide. And as you can see, right off the bat, we have a UV color. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to load my texture here. In this case, it's going to be the night diffuse. And once you set up the texture, you can see right off the bat that we have that point color attribute. If we go to the geometry spreadsheet, you can see that we have the color attribute. And uh, now we can go back to the sim. And now inside the dotnet, you can see right away that already have uh, some, those particles have some color. So it's working right away with the attribute from map node. So we have that trail of particles, the same we had before, but now we have the color based on that point attribute. So just be aware that since this is a point attribute, it's going to really depend on how subdivide is a mesh. So if I turn off the subdivide, it's going to be pretty blurred. The higher subdivisions I have, the more detail I'm going to get on that color. So we can go higher, let's say four. And as you can see, now we have way more detailed texture. But in this case, it's a bit too heavy. So I'm going to go back into two. That's going to be good enough for this uh, demo. And another thing you can do is play with the color so we can remap that color, play with the intensity, with the contrast. So in this case, I'm going to play with this value just to get everything a bit brighter, uh, taking the scale to two. So I have uh, something more colorful. And once I'm happy with the color, now I can go and I'm going to recache the source. And right away, also, I'm going to cache the, the seam again. As you can see now, the color is way brighter after I play with those values. So I'm going to recache the pop net. And once the cache is ready, you can see that we have the same trail, but now all the particles have the same color uh, depending uh, where they are being emitted. So if we go back to Solaris and Karma, you can see that all the particles have the same color of the texture of the character depending where are being emitted. So as you can see, guys, this is pretty straightforward with the attribute from map and you might a need to use this technique depending on your project. There are a bunch of effects that this might be useful for you. Uh, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.